Eight visits since becoming monarch. Charles and Camilla, the Queen Consort, are set to visit the EU's two biggest countries for March 26 to 31, highlighting the significance of the trip. Is the fact that it will be the first state visit by a British monarch since 2015. The late Queen Elizabeth II, Charles's mother, stopped traveling abroad. Charles has recently met with European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen at Windsor Castle and British PM Rishi Sunak when they announced a breakthrough in talks to resolve the dispute over post-Brexit trade arrangements for Northern Ireland. Charles Zuladesma, London. Coming up, traffic and Jill breaks down the storm knocking on our doorstep. City News Time 150.
two months free. At Unite, our business is connecting yours. Heralded by the Globe and Mail as one of Canada's fastest growing companies. Visit unitetoday.ca. A Markham woman has won OLG's $60 million Lotto Max jackpot. The woman, who is a caregiver, won the prize from a mid-January draw. OLG says the winning ticket was purchased at a shop in Richmond Hill. Coming up in the business report, a roller coaster ride for oil today. City News Time 155. Grab a seat, class. Dream Coach Max here showing you how to cook up bigger dreams. A tasty start. Plus Friday's automatic jackpot of an estimated $14 million could make this dream day more delicious. Okay, I'll add it to the pool of luxury living. A voila, a decadent fondue to serve overlooking my backyard steel. Dreamy. This Friday's Automax jackpot is an estimated $14 million. Why dream to the men when you can dream to the max? We have a limited number of spectacular half-carat round diamonds you can sell for $1,099. What? That's what most people are paying for a quarter-carat diamond. Michael, these dazzling half-carat creative diamonds emerge from a perfect ball of lightning. How many of these half-carat miracles do we have? Enough to make a lot of people happy. It's a wonderful to get engaged. Are you saying it's okay to go ahead and sell these for just $1,099? Yes. Woohoo! Spin. Yeah. Located in Bond, Scarborough, and Mississauga. City News Time 156. Now the business report over to the business center and Chris McCusker. Chris Oil looking for direction? Uh, yes. Although right now it's higher for a third day. Irene is up by $1.32 to $79.48. So that's a gain of 1.7%. At one point today, it dropped by about 2%. After the Wall Street Journal reported, the United Arab Emirates was considering leaving the OPEC cartel of oil-producing countries. Now, there has been a growing rift between the UAE and Saudi Arabia, although these reports have since been discounted. So we do have oil moving higher for a third day. It's up by about $4 this week. So energy stocks providing a lift on Bay Street today, the TSX, is up by 231 to 20,568. So right now, Bay Street is looking at a gain this week of 1.7%. Gold features higher by $14.1854. Engineering firm SNC-Lavalin is conducting a strategic review after reporting a loss in its fourth quarter. So the loss in Q4 in 2022 was bigger than the loss in Q4 of 2021. Revenue was also down. Right now, the stock is higher by about a percent. And then the Canadian dollar is down 7,100, 73.48 cents U.S., with the Bank of Canada set to conditionally pause on its interest rate announcement next week after eight consecutive hikes since March of last year. Now, in the U.S., talk about the Federal Reserve pausing, possibly this summer, has investors buying stocks on Wall Street. The Dow is higher by 278 points, the S&P is up 50, and the NASDAQ higher by 190. Now, shares in Nordstrom up by 1.8%. The luxury retailer says it will be out of Canada by June, and the departure will leave massive holes in some malls. The six Canadian stores have leases that last for between 7 and 10 additional years, while the bargain chain rack has seven stores with between five and eight years left on their leases. At the Business Center, I'm Chris McCusker. Every day, Canadians receive mortgage renewal notices and some rates have doubled. Important announcement. If you're renewing in the next 90 days, 4.59% three-year fixed rate mortgages are available at butlermortgage.ca. No matter what you were told, you can still switch to a three-year fixed rate. No gimmicks, no fees. A three-year mortgage with payments that don't increase when prime rate goes up. To learn if you qualify, go to butlermortgage.ca now. License 12118. High ratio variable rate APR 4.60%.
take only what you want when you want it. Call Capital Direct today at 1-800-NEW-CAPITAL to get your flexi line. In Richmond Hill, minus 2 and mostly cloudy. In Orangeville, minus 2 and cloudy. In Oakville, it's cloudy but warmer at zero. City News Time, 2 o'clock. Toronto's number one for breaking news, traffic, and weather. This is City News 680, everywhere. Good afternoon, this is Friday, the 3rd of March. I'm Steve Roberts. And I'm Irene Franklin. Here's what's making news this hour. It's all calm and quiet right now, but by the time we get late into the afternoon rush hour, it will be a whole different story with a major winter storm set to hit us. We have all the details you need to know. Toronto police are investigating after a threat was made against a West End high school. Students from Etobicoke Collegiate Institute have been moved to other locations. Talks have crumbled between Ontario's nurses and the hospital association. They can't strike, but coming up, we're looking at what the next step is. The Prime Minister mounts an argument against a public inquiry into foreign interference in our elections after a House committee joins the growing calls for a deeper dive into the problem. The clock is ticking 60 minutes to go until the NHL trade deadline, and uh-oh, Vladdy Jr. has left the Jays to bring games today. We'll have the latest sports at 15. The PSX and the Dow each jump by more than 200 points. Markets are now looking at gains this week. Business. Traffic and weather together on the ones and with Toronto's most frequent traffic.